Hello, hello, and welcome to this video on the field door defense. I'm Fidia Master Charles Galofre, and let's go ahead and get started. So after e4, e5, knight f3, d6, we've reached the field door. And what could we say about this opening? Well, basically, black has renounced the possibility of playing d5 in one move. And in addition to that, he's decided not to develop the bishop in a more harmonious and dynamic fashion. As a result, uh, black is going to get a position where he lacks space and is going to be very restricted in nature. But needless to say, it's a very, very resilient one. And so it's a solid opening to play. Do grandmasters play this opening? Yes, they do. So how should you continue here? You should typically play d4. And now black has several ways of responding. One way is knight to f6, which is the best way. Then knight to d7 is uh, an incorrect way of playing the hand hand variation white gets an advantage there relatively easy um f5 which is a complete lemon or pawn takes d4 which is a perfect alternative for black so um let's start with knight to d7 which is the most common way of making a mistake in this opening white typically gets an advantage by playing bishop c4 c6 castles and now black must play bishop to e7 because he has to stop knight g5 notice that of knight to f6 and simply knight to g5 and white is completely winning so going back bishop e7 now we play pawn takes c5 pawn takes c5 and knight to g5 and white is better the game would continue bishop g5 queen h5 attacking the pawn on f7 queen e7 defending it queen takes g5 we reach an end game where uh, black white has the two bishops and as a result uh, should have the advantage so going back another way of continuing here is to play f5 this is a huge lemon there is two ways of uh, of getting an advantage one way is knight to c3 which is a way that's advocated in most books pawn takes knight takes d5 and knight takes c5 and white is just completely running over black Alternatively, um, you could play more concretely by capturing on e5 with the pawn, after which black will recapture. White plays knight to g5, d5, protecting the pawn, and now e6. The idea is to play knight to f7, and uh, also blocking this bishop's diagonal. Black will play knight to h6, preventing knight to f7, and then we play knight c3, attacking the pawn on d5, c6, and now the move knight takes c4 and here you are uh, once again completely running over black's position the play would continue pawn takes queen h5 check g6 queen e5 rook g8 bishop g5 threatening the queen bishop g7 intermezzo now we play e7 and uh, the best move for black here is queen to d2 check and after king takes d2 uh, White is completely winning. So going back. Uh, the other alternative is to capture immediately in the center. And all you really have to know is that after queen takes, uh, white has two pieces developed. He has more space and he's better centralized. As a result, he should have the advantage. The play could continue along the lines of knight to c6. You play bishop b5, bishop d7 threatening the queen. Bishop takes, bishop takes. Now knight to c3, knight f6, bishop g5, bishop e7. Now we castle on, and when white castles, we play e5. And this is how we maintain our advantage. These positions are highly favorable for white. So going back, the best way of playing is knight to f6. Now, I was led to believe when I was younger that the best way to play this position is pawn takes e5. And uh, I just want to bring it to your attention because there's been some recent developments in this position where after knight takes e4, the way white should play is bishop to c4. And uh, what we're getting is we're getting a position similar to the field door defense, but with a couple of tempos for white. Now, the way I was taught is that queen to d5 is uh, a better move. But needless to say, um, I just wanted to bring that to your attention. The more classical way of playing this position is by playing knight to c3, knight bd7, bishop c4, bishop b7, 
castles, castles, rook e1, c6, threatening b5 and b4, so we have to play a4. And now black has several plans here, but uh, his main plan involves playing queen c7, b6, a6, and later b5. So let's say he plays b6, which is a very common move. Then the maneuver you want to remember is bishop to a2. You play bishop a2. The idea is sidestepping the ideas of, of b5, b4. And if black plays that, then white could play pawn takes. And after pawn takes, bishop takes f7 check, picking up the rook on h8. So here black would play a6. We play h3. Bishop b7. And now the plan that you should remember is knight to h4. You follow this plan.